welcome to our second episode of CJ Discovery. On today's episode, Joshua has been studying outer space and things at school, so I found this cool kit. It's called Solar System Adventure. You're supposed to be able to make a model of the solar system, and there's even supposed to be a little rover model in there. It does say on the pack that you need two AAA batteries. It's written really small on the back, but I did go ahead and get batteries. This kit I got for $11.99 at Meijer. Um, and then, of course, you have to buy the batteries as well. So I guess it runs you around $15. So we're going to get ready to get into this and see if it was money well spent. Do you like the thing of opening this? Yes. You pull it right there. Okay. <laughs> that is not part of the project. The, the stand. We got the stand. We got the... Now this looks like it's got the stand with all the little planets in there. We got the... This would be the instructions. It gives you the instructions on what you're going to do. And it also gives you a display on the back from the order of the solar system. And it actually kind of looks like most of the instructions are assembling the rover. And only this little page is actually assembling the um, solar system. So, uh, are these that's for the no, that's for the rover. Uh, so we got in here, we've got, looks like all kinds of other little, this probably goes to the rover since it looks like it has wheels and stuff in it. Alright, so not a lot of stuff in here, but we're going to go ahead and get started. I think we're going to do the solar system first and then we'll do the, the assembly. Are you amused by this? <laughs> yes. This is not part of it. The there you go. You have to wear that the entire time. <laughs> okay, I think we're going to start with the solar system thing. Josh here has already pulled this open. Let's go ahead and pull that stuff out. I am going to be like the girl in Series of Fortunate Events and pull my Series of Unfortunate Events. I can talk, really. And pull my hair up while we're doing science. I guess the... Uh I guess the plants are going to go in there. So. Yeah, it looks like these are... Now, they're all taped together. They're not actually hooked together. They are all eight little things here for the planets to go on. And this is the base that comes here. Okay, so it looks like the first step is I have to take off the little battery pack here, and I have to um, put in two, th two AAA batteries into the pack here. So that comes off fairly easy with this tiny little screwdriver. It says to take this and assemble the base. It says that you need this little part right here. So he has to take this little part and he has to put it in through the top and then it hooks into there's a little white spot here on the bottom that it has to plug into. So I'm going to do that. I need it to be further in than that. It seems like this must have to stick in here somehow. Okay, so we finally got the base in here. It was a little bit of finagling. I'm not real impressed with it. It's kind of flimsy and I still don't feel like I got it in there real well. I kind of had to jam this piece down into it, um, and then we kind of just had to finagle with it a lot. But it does work. There we go. We got an off-on switch there I with our circuit light. The so the next step is on here. It says we have to label the planet arms, and it tells us to go. It gives, it gives us the order that we're supposed to go in from shortest to longest. So we're going to take a few minutes and do that. So we have gone ahead and put these stickers on. Josh is finishing up the last one right now. They gave you these little stickers that you had to put on the planets, on the posters for that. And then after that, we are the next step is that we're supposed to take these little balls and put them in the order that they go in. Um, they're very easy to tell what order they go in uh, what because it's the, sh the size difference. You're just putting them on in order, and it tells you the order. I hand that to you. All right, so the first one is Mercury, and it's going to go on here. It says it's the small gray ball. There you go. So you're supposed to stick that on there. It's, we've got Venus, and it says that Venus is here. 
I'm sorry. Venus is the yellowish white ball. Ooh, Mercury. Yeah, that Venus. Oh my gosh, this is pain. It says we're going to place the little arm with the tiny light gray moon on the Earth arm, and then on top of it, put the Earth. So, that little bitty moon. It's like the tiniest <laughs> thing ever. <laughs> Okay, so that goes on the arm first, and then can you get out the earth? Yep. And then the earth is going to go right on top of that. There you are. You live somewhere on there, on that little ball. Which I can say I'm not really fond of these very much. They're not, like, once they're on, they're not stuck. You could easily pull them back off, which <laughs> means lost pieces. I don't know. Which would you prefer? Would you like it to be permanent? Once you do it, or that you could pop it off later, but possibly lose pieces. Permanent. Yeah, yeah I kind of think it should be permanent on there, and I'm, I'm not liking how those attach. But okay, so the last and final step is that we're supposed to place all the arms on the pole, and then finally with the sun. It says that we were supposed to start with the longest pole and put that on, on the pole first. That one is blue. That good. Mm. And the green box. Yep, next one is Uranus. Saturn. Jupiter. Mars. Where did Mars go? Mars got lost. <laughs> 20 years later. Mars looks like a pimple. Hi, <laughs> I look like a clown. What? <laughs> he said I look like a clown with a little itty bitty tiny red nose. Honk honk. <laughs> Ready for the next one. Earth with its weird little moon. <laughs> Wait a minute. Don't blow up Earth. <laughs> <laughs> and Mercury. And then finally we get to cap it all off with our little plastic ball sun. Turn it on. Go ahead. Turn on the on switch. Da, 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 da. Da, da, da. Da, da. Look, I'm spinning around. <laughs> ah, ha, ha. All the little earth people are spinning around. I no place. <laughs> okay, so this part of the kit. A one through ten. What do you rate it? What ten is the best ever? And five. Five. Yeah. I'm not overly. I mean, it it looks pretty neat, and it is functional for teaching the order and you know the planets are cute it looks cute what I don't like is that it is kind of flimsy um, and these like I said these are just gonna pop right off if somebody pulls on them but but it's cute so and it does definitely make a little thing of the solar system here and I will point out that it does not include Pluto which he also pointed out here. Um, so it is a, a modern, more modern one. It doesn't have the old Pluto and everything in it. So there we go. I wonder if any of these other planets someday won't be considered a planet, you think? Cloud nose! So our next thing is this part, which is building the rover. The, these are what you get for the rover. It's these two things and this. Now these parts are just cardboard, so it looks like it's just going to be a little cardboard rover. And... These parts are plastic, so it'll be a little more sturdy just than just entire cardboard, but it is cardboard. Just looking at this, um, they are labeled. The parts are labeled in here. The first part here says we're going to pop out this bigger piece here, and it shows us how to fold it. This is what it looks like. Okay, so it shows it like this, and it looks like it shows, see how you're bending this over? I actually hate these sorts of little wait, things wait. here. It's like if you make one wrong move, the whole thing's destroyed. Insert oh, the man. three tabs of the top of the back end of the slot. Back end. Stay. Back end. I said to stay. Is it just popping <laughs> in? Out. Yes. You are so annoying. <laughs> Okay, I'm really not confident that a lot of kids are going to be able to do this. They're going to be like, Mom, Dad, help, I can't. I broke the tab off. What do I do? So, but we have the first 
Three steps completed oh. here. I'm not overly loving this at all. And it kind of is very flimsy together, but it is together. It is bungling. <laughs> just the first three steps out of 14. So our next step is to fold up the PPSI. We're, tucking the We're looking for some PPSI. Here it is right here. PP. <laughs> no, not PPSI. PPSI. There's some folding supposed to be happening here. I'm not confident. Okay. But whatever. I'm going to go with it. I'm going to jam things into slots in the thing. And there we go. I think I got it. Put the yellow tab on PPS2 into the yellow slot on the PPS1. Look at me. <laughs> Why do you giggle every time you say PP? Um, Seven says, overlap the two green tabs of the UHF antenna and insert Okay, so like all these steps up to now have been like one thing at a time, and then all of a sudden it's like it goes from, you know, just do this one thing to do these 25 <laughs> things. <laughs> I'm supposed to fit that into there? And then somehow pray and jam it down? No. No, we're not, we're not, no, I don't like this. Okay, that's 7 out of 14. We are halfway there. Here's the low antenna. Hanging chads. <laughs> what? Okay, and we're back. And we just decided to go ahead and finish this, because I will be honest, there was a lot of staring and scratching of head, and we actually had to bring in somebody else to help finish it. It is complete. We did get it done. I don't feel like this is something that most kids could do, and they really would be asking for help. There probably are a few older children that could do it, <clears throat> but you're not going to give it to a little kid and have them get it done. And to be honest, um, we were looking at the instructions and kind of scratching our head in a couple places until we finally figured it out. But here it is all finished. So this is the entirety of the kit that's finished here. Um, Joshua, I would like to ask your opinion. What would you rate this kit? One is the worst kit you've ever seen, and um, ten being the best kit you've ever seen. I would say about six. Okay, so he's going to rate it a six. I'm not going to be so kind. Honestly, I'm going to rate this kit as a five. Now, I want to be very clear and say, this part of the kit I thought was actually cute. Um, I, it has its flaws. I don't like the part of the fact that these could pop off, especially if you have, you know, any sort of little or kids and stuff in the house, but these sorts of things can pop off and they're not permanent and, you know, they are kind of cheaply made. However, it does make the little planet system and they are labeled rather nicely. They are cute little little balls here that have, you know, the differences on them. The light in the symbol is oh, the little sun in the middle. I think that I part of the kit is cute. So if I were just reading this part of the kit, I would say this is probably more like a six. Um, maybe even a seven. Um, however, the kit made sure to include the fact it, it sells it on the point that it has the Mars rover with it and everything. Let's see, it does say on it that they're punch out model curiosity seats and that it has some uh, plastic curiosity, curiosity model pieces too. But that part of the kit, I'm gonna be honest, I would rate this more as a one. Um, this, let's be honest, this part is going to last one, maybe two times of being played with before it breaks off. Um, the other parts might last a little longer, but they are just paper, and they were a pain to fold and jam into slots and stuff, and I just, I really, just knowing kids, I feel like most kids would not be able to get this part together and would end up breaking it. And then, once you break a tab off and everything, you really can't fold these sorts of things, so... Uh, do you agree? Is this part... What do you think of this part? Is this mm. something you would want to play with? Would you want to get this for Christmas to put together? No. No. And what about this part? Would you want to get this part for Christmas to put together? Yeah, probably. Yeah, this part's a lot cuter. So we're we're sold on this part, but not this. So I, I feel like they could even just drop this part out and sell this part, and the kit could be even a little less expensive. Alright, so that's our opinion on this kit. You know, try it out for yourself and see what you think. Thanks for joining us. Be sure to subscribe if you want to see more videos. And be sure to click that like button if you enjoyed it. Thanks. Bye. Bye. The little red pimple is flying <laughs> in your face. No, bye.